So my name is Pat. I'm the program manager at Refugee Rescue. Refugee Rescue is the only remaining professional uh, search and rescue NGO in the in the agency, which means that we're the only asset that can do search and rescue in this area. We're based in the north shore of Lesbos, in a village called uh, Scalas Camineas. Our work mainly, we have a crew that is uh, on call 24-7, so if there is any boat in distress in the Aegean, once they cross into Greek waters, we can go and assist them. Not only when there is in distress in waters, but also when people get stuck, for example, in a place where you cannot access by land, or also when their engines fail and you need to guide them to a safe port. Um, right now, for the past two months, we've noticed a huge increase of arrivals. Last year, um, in August and September, we had around 800 people coming. This year, we had 2,800 each month, um, which is a huge increase of arrivals. We're currently preparing uh, because we're seeing, we think arrivals are gonna keep increasing, so we're preparing for it. Currently, 90% of the people who are arriving are from Afghanistan, and almost half of it is children and minors. Um, which of course makes them more vulnerable. We see a lot of pregnant women as well. We've had children, babies as small as 10 days and 20 days coming on the boat, um, which makes as well very vulnerable cases. Um, we're preparing for the new arrivals. We're preparing for what we think is gonna be a pretty busy winter. Um, everything that's going on in Turkey, in Syria and neighboring countries um, make for a belief that more people are gonna attempt to cross um, the agency and make attempt to cross to Greece. Um, this is a bit dangerous because first of all winter the sea conditions are really rough Also, it gets really cold here, which means cases of hypothermia people can get um, frozen, etc And also the overcrowdedness of the island. There's already 10,000 more people in the only camp in Moria here um, So all these conditions make for us to worry and to be prepared for this winter so in between the shores of Turkey and the island of Lesbos, there are many vessels present from authorities. We have a lot of Frontex assets from different countries, as well as the Hellenic Coast Guard, which is the Coast Guard from Greece. Um, and we're the only, again, search and rescue asset. These vessels, authority vessels, um, their main purpose is again to safeguard the borders of Europe, which means that they are not also prepared and they don't have assets to do search and rescue or to intervene if a boat goes in distress. Which is, I think it's a very important point. That's why I work here is so important in the sense that if, a, I don't know, some people get stuck in a rocky area, for example, these authority vessels, there's no way that they can intervene. These people can get in danger, people get hurt, etc. Um, when there's a boat in distress, they do not have ribs that can go fast. They have just the big authority vessels, which can also be dangerous because they produce a lot of waves when they get next to a dinghy.